How we listen to music and how we access it has changed dramatically in the past 10 years. From downloads to uploads, syncing to singing, the whole industry has undergone massive change. The music companies are used to holding all the power, but is it now the case that record labels deserve to die? It's a very interesting subject tonight. I think the um, obviously it's a mischievous subject, record labels deserve to die. Um, but I think it's been brought about by the fact that in the last 12 years or so, record labels have been grappling with this whole way of um, consuming music, which is brand new, which is through the internet. And, um, and I think some people think that record labels could, could have reacted to it better. And, um, and so that's really, I think, going to be a, quite a bit of a focus of the debate as to whether or, not, whether or not it could have been done any differently, whether record labels, as a result of the digital revolution, actually have a place. Um, anymore, you know, are they relevant? I'll be supporting record labels in this evening's debate and for me as a classical musician they're really important in protecting neglected repertories. I'm particularly interested in 18th century music myself and there are particularly specialist labels who have developed that music and who record works that otherwise wouldn't be heard by the general public at all. Those recording companies have a really important job in keeping that music alive. I think one of the things that's really been very telling over the last few years is how record labels have evolved. And there are very few companies which are now just record labels per se. Most of them have had to evolve to be all-encompassing music companies. Labels, if they want to survive, they really are going to have to evolve or die. Everybody can write a song, make, form a band, make a record in their own home and distribute it worldwide from their own home. So why have a record label? So, you know, where do record labels come in? What's the actual essence of a record label? And, um, and it's in that that um, hopefully you'll start to find out what their reason for not dying is. So it's, an, it's a really interesting topic. Delighted to have someone at Tony Wadsworth Stature. He was Chief Exec of EMI. He's the chair of the BPI, the British Phonographic Industry. He runs the Brit Awards. You know, he, he brings a little bit of that cool element to what we're doing, but also real solid industry credibility and experience and, and authority, which I think is incredibly important. We've all got great memories from Newcastle, vibrant city and many of us as students remember music being at the heart of our student experience. So it seems fantastic that we've got the opportunity to link the subject of music with today's debate and the battle of the bands and look at it in the context of the business issue associated with that. Well, a heated and lively debate, but it would seem that the power remains in the hands of the record labels. And tonight, record labels do not deserve to die.